Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates. I'm not going to put any timing on these. These are just updates. Forgot to put my rings on. Um, yeah, so these are just updates. We're just going to see what comes up. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for Taurus. So, are you ready? I'm trying to get the layout correct. Might take me a minute. You're going to see me in a lot of v-necks because the majority of my wardrobe is v-necks and I like them uh, deep cut. So it is what it is. That's who I am and I hate changing it. So what do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the upcoming energy? Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So you need to use your intuition. Something has happened in January that you probably need to use your intuition about. Something to do with the month of January. Hmm. Interesting. So, what else do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Something that, think about what happened in January. Something happened in January. You could also be dealing with somebody that is born in the month of January. But I think January was the new beginning. Or something happened in January. Now you need to use your intuition. What do we have for Taurus? Ooh. Two weeks from now, two weeks from now, you're going to get the answer that you need. Two weeks from the day that you watch this. So something about two weeks from now. Ooh. You want to see what's on the bottom? New love entering your life. You got some new love that is entering your life, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? I guess that's it. A father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason whether your father is still here or has passed a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience so this has to do something to do with a father's love let's keep going what do we have for Taurus that January looks pretty cold. Maybe you need to thaw a little bit. You might need to thaw. I mean, this January, maybe, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty, pretty cold. So we may have somebody here that is very, very cold, and they need to, to thaw a little bit. Two weeks from now, something is going to happen. Here I am looking at the calendar. Uh, two weeks from now. This card wants to come out. The Lovers. Okay. The lovers, two weeks from now. Unexpected choice in love, two weeks from now. This is an unexpected lover. Cupid bringing two people together. Um, this is falling in love, deepening a bond with somebody. Somebody, this is probably, could be a soulmate with the lovers. This is somebody that you have a deep chemistry with, a strong attraction, uh, a mutual attraction, sexual attraction. Um... Goodness gracious. What do we got here? Unexpected choice in love. Ten of Wands. Hangman reversed. The world. Major completion. And the tower on the bottom. 
I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries, because Aries just got the tower as well. So you could be dealing with an Aries, but you could also be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, um, Father. Um, anyhow, Ten of Wands, overwhelmed. Opening up. We have somebody here that is opening up. They've been wasting their time. They've been sacrificing themselves. They've become enlightened. They don't want to hang on anymore. They don't want to wait anymore. They're done sacrificing themselves. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter, something that has affected your life in a very big way. The world card is a major completion of a cycle, a journey. This is letting go with the hangman reverse right next to it. Somebody is letting go. They can't do it anymore. And this Ten of Wands, this Ten of Wands is not carrying it anymore. This person has let go. And the hangman is right next to it. That In reversed, that's let go. Somebody is letting go of their burdens. They're letting go. They can't do it anymore. They've reached a physical or mental collapse. They're letting go. This is done. Can't do it. I feel like we have somebody here that um, their their cycle is over, their chapter is over, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, a project phase. This is like a graduation. It's a major accomplishment. It's the end of a journey. Um, letting go of the need to prove anything, uh, to hold on, can't not holding on anymore. We have somebody here that is making a major choice. The choice is being made. There could be a reconnection with a lover. Um, or they're choosing another lover. This is the end of a contract. Lovers is a contract. Mirroring the world card. Mirroring is means they go together to me. So we this is the end of a contract. It because there's a new lover, there's a new there's a new match of some sort. It's a perfect match. Um, letting go of the baggage, no longer holding on. So if you have been holding on to something that doesn't serve you, trying to prove a point, being overwhelmed, being weighed down by some sort of false lover or a contract, it's over. Um, you're going to be making some beneficial changes in the very near future. You're going to need to thaw a little bit because it feels like there's some coldness here. Something goes back to the month of January. Two weeks from now is very prominent. Could have something to do with a father. There could be an absent father here that has affected you in some way. But love never dies. Anyway, um, the world card is a major completion of a cycle, the end. There could also be some public recognition that is coming up with the world card. Worldwide success in the future. You know, uh, expansion of some sort, opening up. Um, you may have been weighed down by responsibilities or something. You may be getting some help. Maybe it's from a lover. I don't know. Um, there is definitely a union here, a partnership here that is meant to be that I feel is going, maybe it's going to help you to thaw in some way. Um, I don't know. Two weeks from now, things are going to, there's going to be a major completion in your life. This two weeks is right over the world card. Um, this is, this is leaving the past behind. The world is stepping into a new world. This is a new era. Okay, it is. It's, it's a new era of some sort. This is expanding. Some of you may be traveling. In the next two weeks. Two of Swords. Two of Swords is a painful, stressful decision. We have somebody here that is haunted. You know, they're, they're hearing all kinds of things and they're struggling to make a choice, struggling to make a decision. They're, they're haunted in some way. Um, hangman in reverse is extremely, <sighs> it may, I mean, it could mean many things, refusing to look at things from a new perspective. Somebody here could be refusing to look at things from a new perspective and they are extremely uh, haunted by their past. very overwhelmed. We have somebody here that is extremely overwhelmed. They're struggling. They're torn. They're torn in two different directions. 
but they're ignoring something they're ignoring they're they're ignoring what they're hearing it's like they're hearing messages they're haunted they know what they need to do but they can't do it because they're they have ego they have control issues i don't know if it's a father could be a father could also be anybody else or somebody here that has some control issues you know they have a big ego and they're struggling they're struggling to look at things from a new perspective but I feel like this person is extremely extremely overwhelmed with carrying this burden carrying this baggage and I feel like they're be they're really overwhelmed things are about to end though they are about to end you could be dealing with the Pisces you could be dealing with a Gemini I think I, I don't know if I said that or not already um, two weeks from now, some, there's going to be a major completion of a cycle in your life with an individual that doesn't, is unwilling to listen. This person will not listen. This person doesn't listen. That cycle is ending with that person. That baggage is being dropped. I feel like you are letting go. You're letting go. And maybe it's because there's another lover. There could be another lover, another partner, a soulmate. The lovers is a soulmate card, so you, you may have a soulmate here. This is a beneficial change. I feel like there's a lack of a father's love here as well. I think the I think they're the father loves, but may have a hard time sh proving it or showing it or something like that. Anyhow, or, or did in the past, because the world card is leaving the past behind. Haunted, haunted by the past. Somebody is haunted by the past, but dropping it. ready, Get ready to drop this burden of the past, because there's a new opportunity for love here. This is a perfect match. This is kindred spirits, where there's a deep connection here. I think that you are going to be... Uh, traveling in a new direction you can use that per se however you want to look at it you may actually be traveling but this is the end of a chapter a cycle or something where you have been ignored i think that you have been ignored knight of cups so yeah, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love, somebody looking for love, uh, approaching love. Okay, this is an approach, an arrival, uh, you know, somebody that is very romantic, that is uh, expressing feelings, falling in love. I don't know if you're falling in love with somebody deeply, you know. This is, it looks like love, okay, it does. It's like falling in love, looking into somebody's eyes and falling in love. You know, this is like romantic talk, you know, flirting, that kind of thing. Acting on feelings. Nine of Pentacles, which is interesting. Nine of Pentacles is a very independent, self-independent person. Somebody that's independent, self-sufficient, capable, successful, hardworking, entrepreneur, business owner. Uh, typically somebody that is single right next to the Knight of Cups. Uh, I do think that we have uh, love here. There's an offer of love for a, a very successful person. The Nine of Pentacles is a successful individual who has a lot to offer. This is somebody that um, is sitting pretty. I mean, this Nine of Pentacles is sitting pretty. Plenty of abundance right there. There is a love right behind this person. This is love. There is. The Knight of Cups is a, a very emotional entrance offer, advance. Looking, I feel like you're looking into somebody's eyes. I feel like you're going to be, because I see it twice here, looking into somebody's eyes, falling in love, deeper in love if you're already in love. Um, Nine of Pentacles is success. It's independent success. It's an independently owned and operated individual who has an offer of love that is coming in. But I think it's going to be a painful, stressful decision because behind that is the two of swords. This is, oh my God, what should I do? What should I do, you know? Should I, can I leave the past behind and look at things from a new perspective and open up, open up the heart? Because two of swords is typically the swords blocking the heart, blocked emotions, you know, can I? 
I don't know about that. Anyhow, Ten of Wands had to be the right person. That's for damn sure. Anyhow, the Lover's card is unexpected choice in love, where there is a deep connection, and I do believe that you are going to. That's an option. It is a choice. You're going to be presented with a choice, probably between two paths. You can choose to look back at the past and keep holding on to the past and your fears and being overwhelmed by that burden of whatever didn't work out that has haunted you for so long or whatever the case is. Or you can move forward and step into this new territory with this individual that... Um, I don't know, it looks like it's a perfect match to me. Anyhow, um, but it may affect your independence, and that may be where the struggle is. Are you ready to give up your independence, you know? Are you? Are you ready to give up your independence? Are you ready to uh, let go of the burdens of the past? Are you really ready to complete this cycle? Are you ready to forgive? Because it feels like forgiveness is needed. Um, two weeks from now, I think that your life, you're going to be ex put in a position where you have to make a very stressful, painful decision. It's, and I don't know how painful it is. It looks like it's it's just stressful. It looks like it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And it feels like you're hearing all kinds of things and maybe your head is, is getting out of control. You know, you're, you're like, oh God, do I trust? Can I trust? Or what should I do? You know, so I think you're going to be put in a position or you're in a position where you're thinking a lot, thinking about the future a lot thinking about a relationship, thinking about whoever this person is, because there is somebody here that, I don't know if you're in love with this person or what. Oh, God! We have the Empress on the bottom, so that is the birth of a new life, and that is you, okay? So that is you. It's time. It's time for you to receive a blessing. It is time. It's, yeah. The Empress is the birth of a new life. It is beautiful. Um, creating a new life. You're about to receive some sort of blessing because the Empress gives birth to a blessing after some sort of pain. So I think that you've experienced some significant amount of pain. Now it's time for you to receive your blessing. So yeah, get prepared. You're about to receive a blessing, Taurus. This is beautiful. It's a miracle of some sort. It may have to do with a mother or a father. Uh, maybe somebody's going to be getting pregnant if that's where you're at. I'm not. I never would. But uh, somebody could be. Okay. But this is definitely the birth of a of a of a new life. Um, it is beautiful. It is a blessing. It's time. It's time for you to receive the blessing that you have uh, been waiting for. You've been waiting for this. Here it is. This is exactly what you asked for. Um, this is a major accomplishment. This is the end of a journey where you have been isolated perhaps or you have been overwhelmed by the past or held back or carrying some baggage or burdens you have a new opportunity here for love that is uh, going to affect your future and it is it looks to me like this is a it is a perfect match um, but I feel like there's you know, uh, struggle with the two of swords. You're torn between a relationship and independence. You know, do I want a relationship or do I want to be independent? I see a very, I mean, I feel like you're very motherly. You're very nurturing. You're very caring. You, you know your worth. You're beautiful. You know, you're in a, you're glowing. Um... And I think this is something you're going to love. So, two weeks from now, that's what it says. Good luck.